we don't say that someone has a concept, right? I have the concept of ties. No, we don't say that, all right? Uh, why? Because that would imply all sorts of things that are going on inside that we can't observe. Um, so we have to behavioralize that um, because we all know what it means colloquially, colloquially or in the vernacular. We know what it means to say, um, I have the concept of tie. I know the concept of tie, right? It's like, yeah, yeah, okay, it just doesn't work behaviorally because you can't observe all that stuff. So what we do say is conceptual behavior. So in order to develop conceptual behavior, you need to teach the organism, the person, to discriminate within a response class. So whenever you show me a whole bunch, or sorry, generalize within a response class. So whenever you show me all these different versions of ties, there's a tie here. I suppose I have. Look, here's another tie. Um, this one's untied tie. It's a different color. It's even a different shape. It even has patterns. This one doesn't. Well, it does, but it's not the same kind of pattern. But you get the idea. So we're generalizing within the response class, or within the stimulus class of tie. Okay. Um, so, and if we keep doing these and teaching me what ties are, there's bow ties, there's bow low ties, there's these kind of ties, there's skinny ties, there's wide ties, there's there's probably a lot of other ties, but I don't necessarily know them at the moment, um, or can can't speak them at the moment. So the point is, is that I am demonstrating conceptual behavior. Okay? So I'm demonstrating that I uh, can uh, discriminate between classes of stimuli and generalize within classes. So conceptual behavior, there you go.